It's been a month since I uploaded Terran Flight 371, which reached more than 100 views after April. And since I've been keeping that promise, today in this video, I'll be explaining the behind the scenes and some easter eggs which I don't think they are, but whatever, let's get to the video. I started working on the script on December 8, 2021, but at that time I was on a trip to a remote place in my state so I forgot about it until January 4th of this year. While I was working on the script, I was also finding music to fit the video well. After a month of looking for music, on January 31st, I completed the script and then I started editing. Now for this documentary, I had so many things in my mind to improve it for the best. The things I was thinking is for heavy editing, make it separate segments to convert it to one segment for the video. And I will have simulations for it. But this is where the problem started. I never had simulations made in different POVs and perspectives. I never had Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 or Microsoft Flight Simulator X. You must be wondering, why do I need these flight simulators for this video? Well, if you don't know, these two flight simulators, I will also include X-Plane 11 as well, has a built-in and some add-on like recorders. These are interesting to have if you have these flight simulators because it's not just record what you do, uh, yeah, but it also shows different points of views and perspectives. I was completely fascinated by this system, but obviously it's only for these flight simulators, so uh, I just bring some of my friends from Discord and they agreed to help me. Most of my friends were YouTubers but they quit, some weren't but recorded stuff on their own. To be honest, although I could use some help, they did have some problems. Time Management Three of my friends were having troubles for so many reasons, which is why the simulation took like a month to complete. One of my friends was Waseva. He was from Poland and at that time, during the Ukraine invasion, I support Ukraine, he had a hard time on bad internet. He told me that recently his internet servers in Poland were going bad. He decided to join a month later when internet servers were improved. But I couldn't imagine the fact he kind of did some weird things while the internet was... Well, you can have a look. He legit stuck on that terminal like a son of a bitch! After this, he rejoined and finally, he was doing better. To be honest, I don't blame him for this. I mean, he's not the only one suffering like this. After a complete month of recording and retake the crash, it was done. Yeah, PTFS can't have crash physics due to the request from plane manufacturers. After that, I continued editing on March 10th and completed on March 29th. And I direct released it to YouTube for the premiere on March 31st, 2022. After a few days, it finally starts. A day after the premiere, I couldn't imagine the fact that I finished the documentary in just less than a month. It was great and all until on April 4th, I got a copyright claim which was weird cause every music I used was free and had no copyright. After a day of a dispute with Desperate Hope, YouTube released the claim and it turned out to be another fake copyright claimer. I was glad YouTube took action, but I soon learned one thing, is to be more cautious on claims whether they are real or not. Alright, let's go forward to the easter eggs, shall we? Or is it? Hmm. In this first clip, you could see that the terminal isn't the same as O2 Pini Airport. 
since I and my friends were doing it in PTFS, we have to use Greater Rockford Airport for the simulations because it has the slightly same parallel runway as OCP. And the plane was parked at gate 1, which is quite interesting. Oh yeah, I should mention that the plane that everyone probably finds it confusing. Since PTFS doesn't have an Airbus A310 or Tehran Airlines delivery, we were stopped with the Airbus A330 with Lufthansa delivery. Sorry for ruining the realism, but I can't do anything about it. Around the second clip, you could see the plane parked differently. They decided to park the plane in the other way when I told them they don't need to. The next clip shows that the plane was aligned at runway 18R when I, as an idiot, said After pushback, the Bucharest Tower replied to them that they were set to taxi to runway 08R. I don't need to explain this as you guys probably know why. At the part when me and Gogo Kitty were doing the CBR recording thing, we realized that we kind of messed up CBR acting. Due to my speaking less loud than usual while her stuttering most of the time. She's German, so yeah, that's why. Which I kind of understand because German people don't speak English that often. As you guys can see in the cockpit clip, you could see that me and Waseba are piloting the plane. But back at the takeoff clip, Holy Cow and Dino, who was one of our ex helpers for our group, were piloting the plane. And between the crash scene, the pilots were replaced again with Holy Cow and Waseba. Waseba, nice haircut you got there. And lastly, there's no such thing as a flight dispatcher in PTFS, although the flight dispatcher part was true for the documentary. Well, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes. It was kind of short, but this took me DAYS to make it, and I'm glad I finished it. I'm probably never gonna do this again, but time will tell. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. See ya!